हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू जेंटलमैन कैडेट एकेडमी जी सी ए होप यू आर डूइंग गुड सो अनदर वीडियो इन द अपडेटेड रिलेशन सीरीज बट दिस इज फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम दैट आई एम मेकिंग अ वीडियो ऑन इंडिया कैनेडा रिलेशन एंड दिस टॉपिक इज इन द न्यूज़ फ्रॉम लास्ट वन और टू ईयर्स एंड एवन इन द रीसेंट टाइम्स लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स आर हैपनिंग बिटवीन बोथ द कंट्रीज सो विच मेक्स दिस एज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन द कमिंग डेज एंड आई विल बी कवरिंग ईच एंड एवरी थिंग इन द वीडियो राइट फ्रॉम द हिस्टोरिकल बैकग्राउंड एरियाज ऑफ कोऑपरेशन एरियाज ऑफ कंसर्न एंड द फ्यूचर ऑफ इंडो कैनेडियन टाइज बट एवरी थिंग इज गोइंग टू बी इन क्रिस्प फॉर्म एंड बिफोर दिस आई हैव ऑलरेडी मेड नंबर ऑफ वीडियोज ऑन रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन इंडिया एंड एट मेजर कंट्रीज एंड नेबरिंग कंट्रीज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू वॉच ऑल दीज वीडियोज द लिंक ऑफ द प्ले लिस्ट इज अवेलेबल इन द आई बटन सो लाइक ऑलवेज विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट अस स्टार्ट So starting with the basic information India and Canada have cultivated a multifaceted relationship over the years that is rooted in shared democratic values cultural ties and economic aspirations and this relationship dates back to the early 20th century gaining momentum post 1947 when India achieved independence and formal diplomatic relations were established in 1947 leading to mutual cooperation across various sectors and the indian diaspora in canada is one of the largest immigrant communities that has been instrumental in fostering ties contributing to economic growth cultural exchanges and bilateral diplomacy and as of 2024 this relationship has entered a crucial phase influenced by geopolitical dynamics domestic political developments and ongoing global challenges now talking about the significant milestones so in 1980s both the countries entered into several agreements focusing on trade and cultural exchanges Then in 2005 the signing of strategic partnership agreement marked a significant shift towards a more structured relationship then 2012 Canada India joint study group was established to explore the potential for a comprehensive economic partnership agreement let us now talk about the areas of cooperation between both the countries so the first area is the economic ties so economic cooperation is a cornerstone of india canada relations and in terms of bilateral trade so as of 2022 The bilateral trade between both the countries was approximately Canadian 11 billion dollar which is close to USD 8.5 billion and Canada primarily exports machinery minerals and agricultural products to India while India exports textiles pharmaceuticals and information technology services and this diversification of trade sectors is a positive sign of growing economic collaboration and in terms of investment relations Canada is one of the largest foreign investors in India with investment primarily in the natural resources sector including mining and energy and major canadian companies have established operations in india particularly in sectors like infrastructure clean technology and financial services and conversely indian companies have been increasingly investing in canada particularly in the technology and telecommunication sectors then in terms of free trade agreement negotiations both the countries have expressed interest in negotiating a comprehensive economic partnership agreement which is seen as a crucial step in enhancing economic ties and boosting trade close to 100 billion dollar by 2030 then the second area is the educational and cultural exchanges so canada is a popular destination for indian students the high quality education system which is coupled with opportunities for research and work makes canada an attractive option so collaborative programs scholarships and exchange initiatives between universities in both countries have further strengthened educational ties and in terms of cultural exchange programs which have played a significant role in fostering mutual understanding and appreciation events such as diwali celebrations film festivals and art exhibitions organized by indian community in canada showcase the rich cultural heritage of india and furthermore canada's multicultural framework has allowed for the flourishing of indian cultural expressions creating an inclusive environment for diverse communities then moving to the defense and security cooperation so both the countries share a commitment to enhancing their defense and security partnership recognizing the importance of collaboration in addressing regional and global security challenges so talking about joint military exercises both the countries have participated in a range of joint military exercises aimed at improving interoperability and operational capabilities and these exercises facilitate the sharing of best practices and strengthen the professional relationship between armed forces of both the nations and talking about the defense procurement and co-production so canada has expressed interest in partnering with india for defense procurement and the co-production of defense equipment and this collaboration is seen as a mutual beneficial as it allows india to enhance its indigenous defense capabilities while providing canadian defense companies access to the growing indian defense market and in terms of counter terrorism initiatives both the countries have prioritized the collaborative efforts in counter terrorism this collaboration involves joint initiatives to combat radicalization 
transnational crime and the financing of terrorism then in terms of climate change and environmental efforts both the countries are signatories to paris agreement and collaborate on various initiatives to combat climate change they work together in platforms like international solar alliance and coalition for disaster resilient infrastructure and both the countries are investing in clean energy technologies including solar wind and hydroelectric power then the fifth is technology and innovation so both the countries are promoting cooperation in the technology sector particularly in areas like artificial intelligence cyber security and it then in terms of digital technology also they collaborate on enhancing digital infrastructure and promoting e governance which includes sharing best practices and developing joint initiatives then talking about people to people ties so the significant indian diaspora in canada act as a bridge between two nations cultural events festivals and community activities foster closer ties and mutual understanding and both the countries also promote tourism initiatives to encourage people to people exchanges enhancing cultural ties and economic collaboration and in terms of healthcare and both the countries cooperate on various public health issues sharing knowledge and strategies for healthcare delivery specialists in areas like maternal and child health and communicable diseases where canada is a key player in pharmaceuticals and partnerships focus on drug development manufacturing and innovation in the healthcare technologies then in terms of multilateral engagement so both the countries engages in various international organizations including un g20 and commonwealth collaborating on global issues such as peacekeeping sustainable development and international security now let us talk about the areas of concern between both the countries so very first is the diplomatic strains so diplomatic tensions have emerged between india and canada particularly over allegations of interference in each other's domestic affairs issues such as canada's criticism of india's human rights record and its stance on various international conflicts have strained relations high profile incidents such as the expulsion of diplomats and public statements from leaders can escalate these tensions affecting overall diplomatic engagement then the second is the trade barriers so although both the countries they aspire to enhance trade relations various trade barriers remain tariffs on goods and restrictions on certain sectors can hinder economic collaboration then the absence of a comprehensive free trade agreement has also limited the potential for trade expansion with ongoing negotiations often stalled over issues such as market access and protectionism then in terms of security concerns so differences in counter terrorism strategies still pose challenges for bilateral cooperation so both the countries recognize the threat of terrorism but their approaches to addressing these issues may differ significantly then next is the human right issues so canada's strong advocacy for human rights can conflict with india's internal politics instances of criticism regarding india's treatment of minorities freedom of speech and civil liberties can lead to a diplomatic strains so canada's government often raises these concerns publicly which may be perceived as a interference in india's domestic affairs and can provoke a retaliatory responses fifth is the immigration policies so changes in canada's immigration policies can significantly impact the indian diaspora and student community stricter regulations or shifts in visa policies can create uncertainty for indian professionals and students seeking opportunities in canada the large indian community in canada they play a major role in bilateral ties and any disruptions to immigration flow can affect cultural and economic connections then sixth is the climate change commitments so while both the nations are committed to addressing climate change but still the differences in their approaches can lead to friction so canada's emphasis is on ambitious climate policies may sometimes clash with india's focus on economic growth and development and the issues surrounding emission targets funding for renewable energy projects and the balance between economic development and environmental sustainability can complicate collaborative efforts then talking about cultural sensitivities so cultural misunderstandings can create tensions in india canada relations especially regarding the portrayal of indian diaspora and canadian media then in terms of geopolitical alignments so canada's geopolitical alignments particularly its relationship with the us and its stance on china can impact its relations with india then public perception and media influence so media portrayals and public perception can also contribute to areas of concern for example negative coverage or sensationalism regarding incidents related to indian community in canada can affect diplomatic relations and public sentiment then the last is the technology and cyber security so as both the countries they increasingly rely on technology concerns over cyber security and data protection have emerged collaborating on technology may be complicated by issues related to data privacy intellectual property rights and differing regulatory frameworks then the biggest area of concern for india is the demand for khalistan so the khalistan separatist movement which seeks to establish an independent sikh state in india's punjab region is rooted in long standing grievances over perceived political economic and cultural marginalization of sikhs 
So the movement basically gained traction in the 70s and 80s with its most violent phase occurring during 1980s and the assassination of Prime Minister Indira Gandhi by her Sikh bodyguards in 1984 followed by anti-Sikh riots that killed thousands further deepened communal tensions so although the insurgency waned by mid 90s due to strong counter insurgency measures but the movement still remains active in the parts of Sikh diaspora particularly in Canada UK and US where it continues to advocate for self determination and this diaspora activism has occasionally strained India's relationship with these countries as seen in the recent tensions with Canada so the Indian government views the Khalistan movement as a serious threat to national unity and works aggressively to curb its influence both domestically and internationally now let us talk about the recent developments in relationships so the first is diplomatic tensions over the Niger incident so on June 18 2023 Sikh separatist leader Hardeep Singh Niger he was shot dead outside a Sikh temple in Surrey Canada which has a large Sikh population and the Indian government had designated Niger as a terrorist in 2020 and he was in the process of planning an unofficial referendum for an independent Sikh state at the time of his death and a scaling followed rising tensions earlier in June when India's foreign minister criticized Canada for allowing a parade float in Brampton that depicted the 1984 assassination of former prime minister Indira Gandhi who was killed by her Sikh bodyguard and the relationships further worsened when Canadian prime minister Justin Trudeau accused India of involvement in the assassination of Niger and India strongly denied these allegations asserting that they were unfounded and politically motivated so in the wake of all these accusations both the countries expelled diplomats escalating tensions further and this diplomatic fallout also led to the suspension of ongoing trade talks complementing economic relationship between two countries and the incident has also raised serious concerns about the future of bilateral cooperation particularly in areas such as security trade and cultural exchanges and overall the niger incident underscores the complexities in india canada relations particularly in the context of domestic political issues and international diplomacy and in an escalation of the ongoing diplomatic row between both the countries canada expelled indian high commissioner sanjay kumar verma and five other indian diplomats citing a campaign of violence against a sikh separatist on canadian soil and in a tit for tat response india's foreign ministry announced the expulsion of six canadian diplomats including the acting high commissioner and even in 2018 during his visit to india prime minister trudeau attended a formal dinner hosted by the canadian high commissioner in new delhi The dinner became controversial due to the presence of Jaspal Singh Atwal which is a Canadian Indian former member of International Sikh Youth Federation also classified as a terrorist organization so Atwal who had previously been convicted for attempting to assassinate an Indian cabinet minister in 1986 was invited to the dinner causing significant backlash in India and even in 2020 Prime Minister Trudeau sparked an anger in India by commenting on farmers protest against new agriculture laws He stated that Canada would always be there to defend the rights of peaceful protest and in response India's ministry criticized his remarks as ill informed and unwarranted especially regarding the internal matters of a democratic country and on September 1 2023 Canada unexpectedly paused trade and negotiations with India and the G20 conference in New Delhi further strained relations as Indian prime minister notably snubbed prime minister of Canada during bilateral meetings Then on September 15 Canada postponed a planned trade mission to India without again giving any specific reasons. Then in October this year Canada again expelled six Indian diplomats after Ministry of Foreign Affairs announced that RCMP that is the Royal Mounted Canadian Police has gathered substantial evidence identifying them as a persons of interest in the Niger case and Canadian Prime Minister Trudeau stated that the evidence revealed Indian government's agents were involved in the activities that posed a threat to public safety in Canada then India dismissed these claims as absurd and retaliated by expelling Canada's acting high commissioner and five other diplomats giving them a deadline to leave and the Indian foreign ministry also condemned Canada's action as baseless assertions and accused prime minister of Canada for enabling violent extremist to harass indian diplomats and community leaders in canada then on november 3 a hindu temple in brampton was the site of violent clashes between groups supporting khalistan separatism and other community members including hindus so the incident which occurred during diwali celebrations involved individuals waving khalistani flags and clashing with those carrying indian flags and videos from the scene shows intense physical confrontations which escalated tensions within the local community The attack basically sparked a widespread outrage within the Indian diaspora where over a thousand Hindu rallied against the violence and called for more protection of religious sites and Indian Prime Minister Modi also condemned the attack as a deliberate act of violence and urged the Canadian government to ensure justice and protect places of worship and Prime Minister of Canada also condemned the violence calling it as unacceptable so this incident highlights the ongoing tensions between India and Canada particularly in the wake of 2023 killing of Niger and India's foreign ministry has expressed the concerns 
over the rise of extremist and separatist activities which has exacerbated the diplomatic strain between two countries and recently canada has also announced the termination of its sts that is student direct stream visa program which was a vital pathway for international students including those from india now let us move to the future prospects so the future of india canada relations will depend on the ability of both the nations to navigate the recent diplomatic strains while the acquisitions have created a challenging environment but diplomatic dialogues and back channel negotiations may play a role in mending ties and restoring trust so it can be done by leveraging economic opportunities so despite the political tensions economic opportunities remain abundant so both the countries can benefit from closer ties in sectors such as technology clean energy and strengthening trade relations through cepa then also through cultural integration and community engagement so indo canadian community they will continue to play a vital role in fostering bilateral relations and efforts to enhance cultural integration promote dialogue and encourage collaboration between civil society groups will be essential for building bridges between the two countries then finally in the conclusion i can say india canada relations are marked by a rich history strong economic connections and vibrant cultural exchanges and over the years these ties have evolved to encompass trade investment education defense creating a multifaceted partnership so while the recent developments have presented challenges so both the countries remain dedicated to strengthening their collaboration and moreover as both nations work towards overcoming obstacles they can explore new avenues in technology clean energy and climate change initiatives so this collaborative spirit holds the significant promise for increased partnership mutual understanding and shared prosperity in the years ahead so by focusing on common interest and respecting each other's perspective india and canada can pay the way for a more resilient and dynamic relationship So friends this is all about India Canada relations and I have tried to keep this video as short as possible hope this video will be helpful for you so until then keep learning keep watching keep supporting and keep preparing thank you and best of luck